We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Hi, welcome. Thanks so much for watching my channel. Um, I just wanted to do a quick uh, overview of all the lovely things that I received for Christmas from friends and family. Um, I've seen a few of these videos and I'm quite nosy and I love watching what people got um, so that's the reason why I'm doing it, I'm just sharing. Um, it's not in any way or form meant to be a gloat or you know look at what I got sort of thing. Um, I'm a real believer in um, you know what you put out you get back so I'm a real believer in being grateful and showing gratitude. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the secret and things like that, but you know, what you put out, you get back from the universe, and the more grateful you are, the more you get. Um, so it's just about bringing abundance and happiness into your life. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, really grateful for all the lovely things that, that people bought for me. I think it's, um, you know, a lovely thing if, if people do think of you and, and give you something that reflects you um, and shows that it's a thought about gift. Um, and everything I received is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm really happy to share it with you. Um, so if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know that I'm a real beauty junkie. I absolutely love makeup and anything cosmetics. Um, so it's quite heavily, um, you know, that way orientated. So if you're not really into makeup and things like that, then it might be a little bit of a bore for you. Um, but yeah, so this is what I got. Um, I'm really uh, into scents and candles and things like that and everybody in my family knows so I was very lucky and I received a, a lovely diptyque candle from my mummy and a lovely jasmine candle from my husband. Um, I love the diptyque range, um, they're beautiful, really heavily scented candles. Um, they're, the wicks aren't lead dipped or anything like that so they're quite good in that sense. I think they're also like a soy wax or something so it's not carcinogenic or anything like that. Do you have to be a bit careful with candles? as I discovered um, you know through reading and things like that so um, I like to keep um, or I like to have candles that are you know reasonably healthy for you to have around in your home so I particularly like the, the diptyque range um, and then my gorgeous gorgeous best friend um, was very kind and he bought me a beautiful Jo Malone candle um, again, it's a jasmine candle. Now, they do smell quite different, the Diptyque and the um, Jo Malone. It's obviously just the composition of the fragrance, but it's still absolutely beautiful. When you open the box, you can just smell it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It comes gorgeous as well. It's got the lovely little uh, metal lid and everything like that. The presentation of Jo Malone is, is out of this world. It's a gift in itself, um, really, just receiving a box from Jo Malone. Um, I also got um, some fragrances uh, for Christmas. Um, I got a Jo Malone, um, and this is the Tube Rose Angelica. This is absolutely, I just, oh, this, it's so gorgeous. Um, there, there is sort of like a rose to it. And it's, it's quite sweet actually for me. I quite I like quite soury sort of smells. Um, but there's just something a bit more um, grown up and feminine about this rose. It's not ro um, old lady-ish, if you know what I mean. Um, I like to, I actually like to wear it in the evenings even. It's it's heavy enough to wear in the evenings. Um, it's quite a bit of it. <laughs> um, yeah I got that one and that's absolutely gorgeous um, and this one oh, is just out of this world it's the um, oh gosh can you see that it's the Erin um, Ikat Jasmine and um, again obviously a, a jasmine sort of fragrance uh, very sultry it's got I think it's got like sandalwood and actually I think it's got tuberose and things in there as well um, and again I've used a fair bit of that already since I've only had it a few days um, but yeah absolutely oh, I, I'm not very good at describing scents um, but this is just so beautiful I really if, if you know anywhere that stocks it near you go and smell it it's just absolutely gorgeous they've actually got a whole range um this one was my favorite but all, all of them were absolutely gorgeous i would have been happy to have received any of them um so yeah i'm really lucky and i've got two fragrances which means i don't have to be too sparing with them. <laughs> um i also got this from uh one of my sisters now look I I've used almost half of it. It's uh, it's got quite a big opening actually. I didn't realise it's got quite a big opening. It seems to come out really quickly. Um, but I again, I love the smell of this. This is like a 
it's a really sort of clean um, spa sort of smell and I absolutely love it that's probably why I've nearly gone through all of it I'm gonna have to buy some more um, but I got that from one of my sisters now I'm one of six girls so uh, <laughs> that's quite quite cool in the sense that you know there's a lot of girls and we're sort of all on the same kind of wavelength and um, so I've got lots of lovely little little bits and pieces so it's not that I'm, I'm spoiled it's just there's a lot of people <laughs> in my family um, so I also got uh, another artist brush from one of my sisters um, now I did another video on the overall six this is the overall three so this is for um, concealer and things like that I think you can also use it for eye makeup so I threw the box away I should have kept that because it explains what it's best used for um, but yeah, if you're interested, I did do another tutorial on the Oval 6, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and I'll probably do something with this one if you're interested in watching. Um, I also got uh, some lovely Kiehl's. Can you see that? Is that coming up or not? It's probably looking for me. Okay, so I got the Rose Artica Eye Youth Regenerating Eye Balm. I have the worst under eyes ever. Um, it, I think most of it's hereditary. I'm really good. I drink lots of water and do all the, the usual sorts of things. But my under eyes are terrible. I've got like quite bad bags and then dark really bad dark um, circles um, and I'm also getting lots of fine lines uh, so um, yeah I was really keen to get something like this and I put it on my Christmas list and one of my lovely sisters bought it for me um, I also on the skincare theme got uh, the vital essence from Shantakai uh, in that box. I'm just going to take it out for you actually because it's quite an interesting product. I absolutely love the Chantecai range. I use quite a bit of it. Um, I did want the retinol cream for Christmas but unfortunately they were all sold out but my husband's given me some um, Space and K vouchers to go and uh, go and get that for myself. But can you see that? It's really funny. It's like it's like a clear liquid and it's got all this sort of um, like cream woven into it and I guess that, that must be like the, the stuff that actually does the good stuff, you know? And maybe the, the gel's just like the carriage carrier product I don't know but anyway I've used um, used it and it's absolutely lovely you can put it all over you can use it over your eyes so that's really good um, I love as I said the Chantecai products they're just so they're just gorgeous I used to use Sisley a lot but it's so so expensive um, well Chantecai isn't cheap by any stretch of the imagination but it's a lot more um, reasonable than the Sisley and I'd actually put them perhaps on the same on the same pegging um, you know as far as the botanicals they use and you know it's just, uh, it, it you just get results with it so yeah really really nice product um, I then also got some makeup products um, I got a lovely little Bobbi Brown compact Let's see if I can show you that one um, that's what it looks like inside really pretty pretty colors the lovely thing about Bobbi Brown is it comes in all this gorgeous packaging so actually it's like a gift in itself really um, again a bit like Joe Malone you, you get two for the price of one <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's really lovely. I like lip compacts because you can take them with you when you go away. I go away for work a lot and things, so um, I quite like having little bits um, that I can take with me. Um, I also got, uh, again, back to these, these blooming under eyes, this Becca um, product. It's an under eye brightening um, corrector, it's called. Um, so it comes in comes in that box. I like to show people packaging because sometimes when you go into a shop and you're, you're looking for that, um, and that's on the shelf it, it's just sometimes easier to show you the packaging as well so um, it's an under eye brightener um, just looks like like this if I can show you that will it show you um, and you just pop it under the eyes where you've got the dark areas and it's got lots of light reflecting pigment in it so it just it doesn't it's not a treatment in any way or form it's not designed to be that it is literally just to, to hide the issue uh, but it works very very well um, I also got and I've been coveting this for ages one of the um, Becca shimmering skin perfectors and I got that in opal and it's the poured or poudre I don't know how you're meant to say it poured <laughs> trying to be fancy and say it French um, but yeah I got this one we don't have Becca um, in our space NK down here so I think my um, sister had to perhaps get this online um, yeah I love it I have used it um, I love highlighters I've got this one and I've, I also love the old um, Benefit one that's a good one as well isn't it but yeah that's really really pretty um, and lastly on the makeup I got again coveting this hourglass um, item the ambient lighting bronze um, but unfortunately we don't have um, hourglass in our space NK either so actually I went up to London just before Christmas um, and had some some vouchers so I bought this uh, my husband let me buy it early um, and I got the which one did I get my god oh I don't know oh yeah 
radiant bronze light. <laughs> In some really big letters on the back and I couldn't see it um, but I, bu I bought it from Liberty and unfortunately I dropped it while I was in there um, and I checked it and everything and it was absolutely fine um, and then when I got home I must have just put it too hard down on my counter because I ended up with that but it still works you just run your brush over it very gently and then tap it off and it still it still seems to work I mean it's it's 42 quid so I can't really afford to go and just buy myself another one um, I'm gonna have to wait unfortunately um, and you know and see perhaps in the video go to the sales <laughs> um, and then I also got um, this from one of my dear friends and it's absolutely hilarious it's a Lulu Guinness um, shopping bag, so it's got like a zip all around it. And you undo the zip, if I can undo it, I've probably got the bag caught in there knowing it's me, so I put it away too quickly. Hang on, I will do this. It's not normally hard to undo, it's just because I put it away badly. Because the bag sort of uh, folds up back inside of it. Oh my god, I've literally just had to turn this video off and it's taken me 10 minutes to undo because I didn't want to break it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it undoes, do it, undo it all the way around and then pull it out like so. And it turns into a little shopping bag. Can you see? Isn't that just brilliant? <laughs> So I love that. It's an excuse to go shopping and put things in. And the little fabric's got like lots of little lips on it. I just think Lulu Guinness is such fun. The products are such fun, aren't they? I love it. So yeah, that's my, my very fun item. And then lastly, my main Christmas present. Um, oh no, hang on, I had one more funny thing. I got these slippers from my sister. I love slippers. I got these. Aren't they great? I think they look like little Oompa Loompa shoes. Um, I used to have them in green velvet and uh, red pom-poms on them, so they did look like proper Oompa Loompa shoes from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But I got these in like a mink and a pink um, for my birthday this year. My cat loves the pom-poms and like attacks, attacks them and pulls them off, so um, they don't really last the whole year. Uh, so I got I got these and, and hopefully they'll last me a little while. Um, so yeah, finally the last gift that I got is actually the camera that I'm filming on. I was really, really lucky um, and my husband bought me the 750D for Christmas. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. I was filming on my iPhone before and this is just amazing. I love it. Um, it's, you know, it's got Wi-Fi capability and all sorts of things. It's really great. I'm not techie at all, so I'm going to have to really sit down and, and learn how to use this camera because it has so many amazing features on it. Um, if I can, at some point in the future, I'll try and do some sort of basic tutorial on it, um, you know, just so that you can perhaps see how I use it and how I set it up and things like that. Um, but I can't go into any sort of depth because, as I said, I'm totally, I'm technophobe. I'm not technical at all. Um, um, but the, the basics of it are quite easy to master and I've managed to you know, set it up and do a video so all is good in the world really. Um, so yeah, it's it's really gorgeous. I'm really, really, really lucky to have received that um, for Christmas and I'm really lucky to have received everything else that I did. Um, I am genuinely very thankful um, to all my friends and family and you know, I know that I'm very lucky and fortunate um, and blessed to have these sorts of people around me. Um, yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed having a nose at what I got for Christmas. Um, if you know, if you've got any questions or anything, leave a comment below. Um, I'll link other videos below if anything else is relevant um to, to what I've shown you. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed and come back again soon. Thanks for watching.